Hi everyone, welcome back to Just Doing Nails. And today I'm gonna show you a simple way to label your gel polish. The supplies I'm gonna be using are scissors, brush on nail glue. I have some regular nail glue, some multi-use labels and a cuticle pusher, or you can use a butter knife. The multi-use labels I got at Walmart for like 187. And I'm also going to use these chopping mats that I got from the dollar store. They come in a two piece. I'm also going to be using some alcohol and my nail lamp. So most of this stuff, if you're doing nails, you should already have on hand. So this shouldn't really cost that much to do for you. Just a trip to the dollar store. And you can even get those multi-use labels at the dollar store as well. So here we are, I just put on a layer of gel polish on this chopping mat and I'm gonna cure it. Then I'm gonna add another layer and I'm gonna cure it. So basically you wanna act like you're applying it to a regular nail. You just do it like you usually would when you're using gel polish and you wanna make sure it's dry. At this point it wasn't dry so it's okay to just go ahead and cure again. And then I'm also gonna use alcohol. And this is what takes off the sticky layer that could be left when you use gel polish. And then I went ahead and cured it for a third time, just for good measure. And so this is where your cuticle pusher or a butter knife or whatever you have handy that you can kinda of use to get under there and scrape these gel polishes up. So this first one, I went ahead and I cut in like a rectangular shape. And I'm just gonna put it on the bottle, just kinda see where I wanna place it. And then I added some of this regular nail glue to it. The problem with this way is that that regular nail glue, as you see, it, it can get a bit messy and it kinda stuck to my finger. So this next one I didn't cut, but I did use the regular nail glue. But the problem with this darker color and that I didn't take into consideration is that the bottle is black. So it really doesn't do the color any justice. So with the white color, I went ahead and transitioned to my brush on glue. And so this is where I figured out that the brush on glue works better. It was less messy and it stuck on better. You can also see the color better because it's white on black. So as you see with this one didn't come out that great so I wouldn't advise to use regular nail glue. Like I said, this brush on nail glue, I would definitely advise you get some of that instead. So back to the darker colors. If you're going to be labeling a darker color gel, you wanna make sure it's on a bottle that's not dark. But since my bottles are black and I do have dark colors, that's where these Avery labels come in handy. I'm just going to cut it a little bit so it fits around my bottle. And then that way I can label them with the darker colors and they will stick out. And that's how you solve that problem. So here's the white. Here's the black. As you see, you can see it really well as well as the red. Well, that concludes my video, guys. Go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know if you tried it and if it worked for you or if you have any other ideas on how to label your polishes. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It'll really help the channel grow, and I'll see you guys next time.